Cardiovascular disease is just a big name for all the diseases of blood vessels, uh, which happen from arteriosclerosis, or another word for it is hardening of the arteries. And hardening of the arteries will happen in the heart, but can also happen in any other blood vessel in the body. As a vascular surgeon, we concentrate on the blood vessels outside of the heart. And so our patients usually present with carotid uh, disease, which is a blockage in the artery of the neck. Uh, they can have blockage in the intestinal arteries. It can uh, be uh, blockages in the uh, leg arteries. Um, uh, the other problem that can happen with arteriosclerosis is aneurysms, which is the opposite of narrowing, where the arteries actually enlarge and uh, we get uh, pretty concerned about enlargement of the arteries because as they get big, they uh, have a tendency to rupture. So we would like to catch that before it actually happens. We're lucky at Spectrum Health to have all the latest technologies um, uh, that, we, that any physician or surgeon can have to treat vascular disease. And in vascular disease, the, the latest technologies are minimally invasive, so there are little catheters and stent that we can insert from the leg or the arm to treat an area of narrowing uh, with the balloon or place a stent. Uh, and those treatments, uh, most of the time, are done on an outpatient basis, so minimal hospitalization. The other thing that we can do is that we can combine treatments, open surgery in addition to endovascular treatment, which also uh, shortens the length of the operation, hastens the recovery, and can get people back on their feet, back to work, and back to function as quickly as possible. At Spectrum Health, we're lucky to have, again, the latest technologies available. And as an example, we have participated in studies. Uh, and this is, when I say a study, it means that we are looking at a device that has not been implanted in the United States yet. And because we are a busy center, uh, we can actually implant these newest devices into our patients. And we've participated in several studies with very good results uh, in our patients. So we are thrilled to be able to offer this option to some of our patients. There has been actually a lot of uh, research recently about veins. Uh, so veins, vein diseases fall into really two categories. One is varicose veins, which is for most people a cosmetic problem, but it can also be a debilitating problem because when the varicose veins become an issue, patients develop pain and swelling in their legs, which inhibits their ability to walk, maybe to stand for long periods of time, to do their work. Uh, so we have minimally invasive treatments for varicose veins, and again, patients come in as an outpatient and go home uh, right away, actually. The other types of venous problems is actually blood clots, and that doesn't happen in the superficial veins, the ones that are near the skin, but more in the deep veins. And when a blood clot happens in those, obviously the danger is that that blood clot can travel to the lung and possibly cause something called a pulmonary embolism, which can kill. The problem is called DVT, which stands for deep venous thrombosis. And when patients have a deep venous thrombosis, now with the new treatments, we are able to place a catheter in the blood clot, which can dissolve the blood clot. And if that is successful, they can actually have absolutely no side effects from the treatment or any uh, side effects uh, as a result of that DVT. And my greatest satisfaction is to see somebody uh, who is at risk of losing their leg or at, at risk of having a stroke or at risk of having a rupture in their aneurysm and being able to treat them and see them go back to their normal lives, to their families, uh, to see their grandchildren, to be able to participate in the activities that, that they love doing, like playing tennis or playing golf. That is my greatest satisfaction, is seeing these patients back in the office with a successful procedure and being so grateful that everything went well and, and that just what keeps us going.